And before all the water is coming back out of all the taps throughout Southern California, it'll be six months. This is one prediction of the devastation that a large earthquake will cause when it hits Southern California. The Great Southern California Shakeout is one effort being made to prepare for this inevitability. Let's go out to Barbara Brooks, who is in the Cajon Pass area of Southern California, a place known to geologists as the Lifeline Corridor, where several vital energy and transportation service lines are located. Barbara? Well, Chris, it's warm out today, and you can see it's what Southern Californians might call earthquake weather. But, as the USGS says, there is no such thing. But we're preparing for the big one just the same with the Great Southern California Shakeout. The scenario is a magnitude 7.8 quake on the San Andreas Fault. That means it would be the largest earthquake drill in Southern California history. The Great Southern California Shakeout is a, an event where we're asking all of Southern California to pretend that the Great San, San Andreas earthquake that we know is an inevitable part of our future is actually happening and think about what we could do to make ourselves safer. The southern section of the San Andreas Fault hasn't moved for 300 years or more. And that section of the fault, like many of the other sections, moves at about every 150 years. So this one's a good one to plan for. We designed the earthquake, and then we brought together uh, your engineers, structural engineers, lifeline continuity people, the people that take care of your uh, water conveyance systems, your electrical systems, your pipelines, uh, railroads and roads, and says, okay, here's the shaking. What's that going to do to you? So, for example, one of the big surprises was that we learned that all the water pipes that are going to break in Southern California involve so many water pipes. There aren't enough water pipes in the country, perhaps the world, to replace them. And they'll be so damaged they'll not be repairable. So they'll need to be replaced. And before all the water is coming back out of all the taps throughout Southern California, it'll be six months. Departments of Water and Power now need to think out of the box like they've never done before and who they're going to partner with and how they're going to solve that problem. They're in the business of delivering water to customers. And they've already begun doing that as a result of participating in the scenario. Many scientists and specialists have been gathered together for this disaster drill. It's happening in conjunction with Golden Guardian, an annual first responder drill. It's, it's scary in itself that, that as, as one of the seismologists said, it hasn't happened in this area for 300 years. And 12 foot of rise in Cone Pass is going to cause us nothing but problems, as everyone knows. And the biggest thing we can take away from this is getting people prepared. This is a wonderful partnership between uh, Golden Guardian and ShakeOut. Golden Guardian being the preparedness for the first responders, and ShakeOut getting the public awareness message out so that people will take uh, precautions and get prepared themselves. Obviously, if you can be uh, self sustaining for 72 hours, if you can take care of yourself, if you have the medicine, you have the water, you take care of your family. Family, that frees up the first responders so they don't have to go to your house. They go to the house that really needs help. So you're really doing the ultimate in public service and, and possibly saving lives. To participate in the ShakeOut, you can register at www.shakeout.org. I'm Barbara Brooks reporting for FDNNTV.com.